Hey, Cameron McKenzie here, Editor-in-Chief of the Serverside.com, and I wanted to show you how to set a global git ignore file. Spoiler alert! First check to see if you've already got a global git ignore file by running this command. And then finally, if you don't, well, set one up with this git config global core excludes file command as well. There's a couple of nuances to it, so stick around. Let me show you how to do it. As you see here, I've got a GitHub repository with the git ignore file in it, and I've cloned it over here, so the right is the exact same as the left. And I've got a git ignore file. If I take a look at the git ignore file, it says, hey, any file that names that ends in star.cameron won't be added to a commit. So if I was to say create a file called hello.cameron, so you see it gets created right there. And then I said git status. Well, git would say, hey, there's nothing to commit. You got a clean working tree. If I tried to do a git add and a git commit, it would say, hey, there's nothing to commit. Nothing has been added. So that file, hello Cameron, has been ignored. However, that's not global. That git ignore file is only local to this git repository. It won't work if you set up another git repository somewhere else. You have to recreate that git ignore file. So how do you create a global one? Well, I'm going to just update this git ignore file and add star.mckenzie. That's my last name. And then I'm going to move that file somewhere where anybody can access it. So I'm going to cut that file out of there. I'm going to paste it right into the users folder. Now you can put this anywhere on your file system. There are security restraints in that users folder, but it's good for this example, just a common place where Git can refer to it for any user that uses it, because we are going to set this up globally. It's not just going to be user-based, but it's going to be for any user that uses the system. Um, then we need to go and set that global configuration. So how do we do that? Well, we open up a Git bash shell somewhere. So I'm going to open up the Git bash shell here in the repository that I was working on. And you want to actually check that you don't already have a global git config file. So you say, hey, do I have a, a core excludes file? And if nothing gets printed back to you, then you know that the global git config file has not been configured. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to point to that git ignore file in the users directory. I'll just say git config dash dash global, make it a global setting, core.excludes file, make sure I spelled that correctly, excludes file, and then say c colon slash users slash dive git ignore. And now if I ask for the core excludes file location once again, Notice it's pointing at C users git ignore. And of course, in that git ignore file, we're ignoring not just Cameron, we've proven that works, but we're ignoring McKenzie as well. And so I'm going to come over here to this git branch and I'm going to add a couple of files. I'm going to open up the git bash. I'm going to add using the touch command echo.html, but also touch world.mckenzie. And so I've got Hello Cameron, world.mckenzie, and also this echo file. I'm going to do a git add, git commit, global git ignore example, and now I'm going to do a git push. And as I push to origin, this will take all of these changes that the git environment recognizes and push them to GitHub. If my global git ignore file is working, because notice I don't have a git ignore file in this repository folder, if the git ignore file is working, echo will be pushed, but hello and world Cameron McKenzie won't. So I'll come over here to git, GitHub, do a refresh, and boom, there you see, echo.html is there, but the hello world Cameron McKenzie files are not, meaning that the global git configuration was set up correctly. Now if you enjoyed that tutorial and you appreciated the brevity and straight to the pointness of it, why don't you head over to the serverside.com and check out some of the other tutorials I've got on Git, DevOps, Tools, GitHub, Enterprise Software Development, etc. If you're interested in my personal antics, you can follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ. And please, why don't you uh why don't you subscribe on the YouTube?